travel all night. I'm so lucky. Finish that lyric. I don't know it. To get back home. Drum solo. Boo doo doo doo. I'm a cowboy. Anyway, she's still sitting there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a stand house. One second, man. Good morning, you bad, beautiful bitches. You, it is Wednesday morning. My partner in crime, partner in life, best friend, Rock, joins oh. me on this episode. Ashley, hello. Good to have hey. you in studio. Oh, it's great to be here. Thanks so much for inviting me. It's been a couple of weeks without it's, you on the show. I it's know. It's been sad. Have you noticed like your views dropped or something? I'm sure they have. <laughs> I'm sure our anchor was not here. Yeah, views were down, you know. You. Kidding. Your hair looks great. You just got your hair done. I did. I got my extensions out. So now you can give me um, head rubs. Whoa. Tonight. Okay. Right. Thank you. Totally. Yeah. I'm glad your hair extensions, uh, they feel like little uh, prickly bugs in your hair, you know, yeah. like where they attach to your scalp. Right. It's yeah. not the best, but you look yeah. good. Hair looks great. Thank you. You look great. Stop it. More compliments, please. She doesn't compliment <laughs> me enough. <at> home. <laughs> Today we were doing a live caller Q and A. Mm -hmm. You dropped your number on Instagram stories. That is how you will potentially get picked to be called on today. Cool. We'll bang that out. But first, a message from our sponsors. <laughs> this segment is called Hard Times. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's get straight to the point, if you will. Oh boy! See what I did there? Oh good. Well, you're about to. Have you ever been in a hard situation? Have I ever been in a hard situation? Well, hey, well, sometimes even saying the word might be hard. Am I right, King? Neither here nor there. Uh, well, hey, this might be a hard situation. You might actually like. I'm listening. Blue Chew is a service that delivers small packages with a pill inside. You should always have this on you. Maybe it's a date, a little romantic environment, mm. kind of your secret weapon, if you will. Blue Chew is an online service that gives men access to chewable tablets that help them achieve stronger and longer lasting hard-ons. Everything is done online and delivered to your door, which means no awkward in-person visits to your doctor or physician. Get your hot on. Uh, just chew it and do it. Am I right, gang? Get your first month free with my code KC20, link in bio. Hada, hada, hada. All right, well, can't, can't unhear that, you know? Huh? All right, shall we get to a couple of callers here, huh? All right. Here we go. Let's get into it. I hope it. they're really fun. Yeah, this should be interesting. There was one I saw that they were going through a breakup. They needed the help. Um, where are they? Here we go. Got a friend with a, got a friend with relationship probs need you and your fiance's advice. Here we go. Here we go. First caller on the no limits caller live. Could be a voicemail show again. <laughs> we did say, call has been forwarded to did say I'll give you a call at five. System. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hello, you <laughs> bad, beautiful bitch, you. This was your shot to be in the No Limits podcast live. So we're leaving you a voicemail. I think hey. That is the fiance. Call me back. Rumor has it you had some relationship issues. Me and the team, we're going to try to solve for you. Anywho, if you get this in the next mm, 10, 15, 20 minutes, give, give us a call back. back. Jinx. Hugs Thanks and kisses. Guys. Love you. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's tough picking them. Some will leave like a little description of why they want the call. Others will not. I know it's always like obviously so appreciative, but funny when we call, we're like, any questions? You're like, no. Yeah. Like, I'm like, cool, cool, cool. Great chatting with you. Here can you come go. up with one? Call number two. Yeah. Maybe we preface that better, you know? Hey, you reached Rachel's wow. voicemail. Go ahead and leave me a message and I'll give you a call back. Oh, I can't. Have a great day. I feel like we are. I did say five on the Instagram story, so we'll call you at five. And now we're entering like dinner hours. Mm, it's like know? six now, isn't it? It is 557. Six. Technically, if you're listening, it's Wednesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> now we're thinking. Ho, oh, hello, you bad, beautiful bitch. You, you at the No Limits Podcast live. Hi, how are you? We are just dazzling over here in Boston. Ooh. How are you? I'm wonderful. Dazzling in Boston as well. Oh, let's go. What's going on in your world? Are we 
out to dinner? Are we getting ready not. for dinner? <laughs> What's happening? Honestly, I'm just laying here watching Netflix with my dog. Oh, oh here we go. Did you see that there's the Depp versus Heard on uh, Netflix now? We have to watch oh. that tonight. I did see that. Yeah. Right now, I'm rewatching Grey's Anatomy, but that's <gasps> next season? on my list. Mm. Um, right now, I'm on season two, episode seven. Oh, Ooh. great season. Here we go. I it really see- is. The whole thing's amazing. I think I've seen every episode probably like 10 times, but mm. still got to rewatch. It's one of those safety shows, you know, like The Office. You know, you rewatch it because you know it's good. Yeah. You yeah, know? exactly. And you can just have it on in the background. You already know what's going to happen. Yeah. You can clean, do your thing. Yes. Yes. What is going on in your world? Is there anything we can help with? Any hot questions on your mind? Any relationship advice? How can we help you? <laughs> Honestly, no. I just really wanted to talk to you guys. I'm so happy that you guys called. I saw you posted um, on Instagram, drop your numbers. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. My boyfriend was like, go for it. Let's go. Here we go. Yes. I love that. What's what's the dog's name and what kind of dog do we Mm -hmm. have? We got a Yorkie Poo. His name's Ozzy. He just turned one. Oh, oh Ozzy. Did I hear you have a boyfriend? Did I hear that real quick? Yes, you did. Hear that correctly. Here we go. <laughs> How are things with you two? They're great. We have been together for eight years. Wow. And just moved to the North End uh, last Ooh. August. And oh. we've been loving it. Here we go. The North End's the best spot. Yeah, really best place is. in Boston to live. It really is. Wait, why are you on your couch? Fisherman's Feast started tonight. Go out there. I know. Well, he's not home. He's over at the TD Garden at the UFC press conference. Uh, so I was waiting for him to get back to go out. No, yep. no, that's on him. You go out, you uh, get a cannoli, and then you get a second cannoli when yeah, he comes there back home. Yeah, there it is. Yes. I know. You're right, girl. <laughs> yes. So it's Aaron Keeney. I love him. Exactly. Yes. Well, thank you so much here. You were actually our first caller that uh, we've been on a voicemail, real voicemail kick this evening. You know? Really? Oh, my. I think it's because we. I said five on Instagram stories. We got terribly delayed. You know, now it's later, yeah. so we're interrupting. Yeah, dinner. I looked at, when I got the phone call, I saw that it was like 5.55, and I was like, oh, I don't know. Would that actually be them? And I was like, I'm just going to answer. Here we <laughs> go. Look at that. I love that. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. I hope you and the dog and Grey's Anatomy are having a big <laughs> Kitchen time over there. We'll see you at the feast. Yes, we will see you, you at the so feast. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys. Bye. Awesome. Love you. Have a good one. Bye. No, I love you back. <laughs> I was going to say, like, Kevin on here throwing love yous to strangers. Well, no, I love you back. It's fine. I'll get over it. I'll go on a long walk later. It's fine. People don't say I love you. Do you want to go on a walk to the feast, though? I could totally go for some chinis. Well, I love how the feast brings you alive. You were asleep here moments ago. And well, now I was saying you. you could go for a walk. I'll just stay at home. Oh, right, right, right. I get you a holy cannoli. <gasps> Anything. What I'm is in those? They are delicious, huh? Um, Regatta. Sorry, I just spit a little bit. Yeah, God bless you. What was I the know, word? Oh, sorry, regatta. And lemon zest. <laughs> what are you even saying? You love cannolis. (laughs) I know. Well, I choked on the first one. I actually had a lot of saliva in here. Wow. That is brutal. That's great. I don't really clean those mics, but (laughs) someone will figure it out. Sorry. (laughs) I'm kidding. (laughs) But but not. Yeah, no, I don't. But (laughs) like, when is the last time? Not the first time it's been spat on. Yeah. Speaking of not cleaning. Oh, are they picking up? (laughs) Go ahead. The toilet seats at... Fenway last night. Whew. Brutal. Your call has been forwarded to. So brutal. <sighs> Do you really? hear that Beyonce brings her own toilet seats on tour? I was seeing that. Wow. Yeah. Honestly, Whole though, toilet I don't... box. Is it? It's a. Yeah. Is it? It's toilet seats, right? It's not the full I don't throne. Know. All I know is that there's a box that Unknown just says color. Beyonce's toilet seats on it. Oh boy. We're flying blind. I hope it's your dog. Good morning, you bad, beautiful bitch. You are <laughs> on the Netherwoods <laughs> podcast live. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Let's go. How are we doing over there? I'm good. How are you guys? We good. are better now that you called. Hello. I'm sorry. I missed the call the first time. Wow. It, it, we've done. Are you? There was a couple relationship ones in there. Were you one of the ones that needed relationship help? Is that yours? Well, yes, but I'm asking for a friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is better when it's for a friend because we can be like brutally honest because yeah. we're not saying it back to you. Yeah. Let's yeah, get exactly. Into it. <laughs> I that. need some brutal, brutal honesty here for my friend. First okay. off, where are you in the world right now? Where are you calling in from? 
I'm calling in from Maryland, although mm. like three days ago, my husband and I were in Boston. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you, you have, uh, you or anyone you know have the uh, Baltimore, Maryland accent? Is that an accent? Uh, I don't, and my husband does not, even though I just like when we met, I was really expecting him to, but I, wow. I don't. <laughs> the, that Baltimore accent, I, I played football back in the day with a lot of guys from Baltimore. That accent comes out of left field. I think I yes, the and it's like only certain words. They'll be talking like really only when they say water or like weird things. Yeah. <laughs> or they say like two and it goes up like eight octaves. Uh, two. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, we yep. went to the store and then, you know, uh, us two went over there too. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, that's yeah, a Baltimore that's accent. I yeah. have to meet someone. Yeah. My family's from West Virginia, so we don't really have oh. any of that. <laughs> Country roads? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Take me home? To a place. To everybody. <laughs> to Where I belong. Where I belong. West Virginia. West Virginia. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Rocky Mama. You already that one? Oh yeah, go out here. <laughs> All right, back to you and your friend here. What's going on in the relationship department? Oh yeah, uh, so it's a whole shit show. Here we go. <laughs> so we my friend was dating this girl for like two, two and a half years, mm -hmm. and then she broke up with him, but he's still madly in love with her, mm. and he ended up getting a new boyfriend, mm. but will still call my friend for like random hookups. <gasps> even, while, even while she's dating this new guy and will still text my friend and say a bunch of things that just has him wrapped around her finger. And Ooh. all of us are trying to say like, you got to move on. Like this isn't healthy, but mm -hmm. he's just like, will he's not open to dating other people. Mm. Nothing. And I'm like, I don't know what to do, man. Yeah. <laughs> How long have they been broken up? Oh, that's a great question. I want to say a little over a year. Wow. Mm. I will, after we hang up here, can you DM me? Because I'm going to DM you back a video that I watched probably every day when I was going through a breakup and it's life changing. It's from a guy named Jocko that talks about basically this exact situation. Mm. You know, okay. you get in a, uh, a breakup. The girl moves on very fast. The situation I was once in. The guy is <laughs> like, I'm a slow mover, you know? So I'm like, mm. uh, he, it's this guy, Jocko. And basically he just talks about like getting unbelievably busy, unbelievably busy. Like this, this guy, what's the, oh, I guess not. Don't say his name. Never mind. <laughs> this yeah, guy, I was like, what's the name now? <laughs> this guy, your friend who's in the situation, this is his shot where he should be in the gym maybe even twice a day if it requires it. He should be in, in the next year. He should be in impeccable shape. Uh, maybe a new business venture he starts, and maybe that starts with flipping furniture online. Maybe that starts with making content on the internet. Uh, but the So he's kind of started doing that because he started his own car detailing company. Oh, here we go. And he does welding on the side. So like he Hell is trying yes. to keep himself busy, but but she keeps bothering him. Here. But yeah, yeah, because the girl is my best friend's younger sister. Mm. Mm. So she keeps re-engaging re with him. Is that right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Well, I'm just letting it happen because he'll go out with another girl, and then he'll say, oh, it just doesn't feel right.' Like this other girl isn't." you know, the girl that he wants and he just like pushes everyone else out of the way for her, even though she's in another relationship now mm. and said, Oh, I don't want to like take you back in that way. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, that is uh and she's not going to leave the guy she's with to go back yeah. to him. Right. Correct. Yeah. 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 I guess he's, like, cause he's already said like, leave him like let's start this again and she's kind of been like no break up too hard mm. i feel like there's always this issue like i know like for girls at least like whenever like i feel like we've all had like exes you know try like kind of talk back to us maybe not like to hook up or something but like always texting you when they need you because you're kind of like their safety net so i feel like a right. guy yeah. friend is just her safety net but mm -hmm. If she wanted to be with him, she wouldn't be with anyone else. Like there's that saying, mm -hmm. like if you 
are kind of like two timing someone always go with the second option because if the first one was enough like you wouldn't yeah you wouldn't be that. entertaining the second and yeah. i'm not saying like he wasn't enough they're just not like meant for each other like there's something missing there but i think like he's just her safety net um so he she's like mentally abusing him honestly mm -hmm. with that so she he just needs to come to the realization like that hard realization like all right like i can she's not gonna be able to give me what i want i can't give her what she wants so like i have to be the strong one and like cut the ties yeah yeah I and i've busy. been trying in like a nice way to tell him like you know if she's cheating with this guy even if you guys got back together what's to say she wouldn't cheat on exactly. you with somebody you know, always a cheetah. That's why, I like, yeah. granted, it's been a year. Like, there should be a little bit more healing there from him. But regardless, he, what he really should do is block her number, mm -hmm. unfollow and block on social. Like, literally, this this girl, to him now, no longer exists if she can't communicate with him. And then he can begin the healing process, and he should try to scale both those two businesses. Like, the car dealing one, detailing one, amazing, and welding. He could, he could at all hours of the day, be scaling both those and then who knows like this this is where uh potentially like like these big companies we hear about often start in some sort of doom and gloom whether it's bad parenting uh foster kid uh b bad breakup like he could who knows he might own this franchise of car dealing uh dealerships uh car detailing dealerships rather all from <laughs> this one breakup just because he put the horse blinders on and got unbelievably busy. Yeah. And did well, and I've been trying to tell him because he's where he does the car detailing. The shop is right next door, kind of connected to this Western Wear store where she works. Oh, mm. No, <laughs> yeah. so like every day, yeah, they're he's kind of just seeing each other and interacting. And I'm like, dude, that's not yeah, help the no. process. No, he almost has to pick up and move and just like if if he's serious about getting over it. If he's like, oh, it's kind of fun, like we hook up here and there, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, gotta get unbelievably busy because if he does that, a year from now he's gonna look up and be like, well, I'm sorry, who was what was her name? I don't even remember who she was. You know. Yeah. And he'll he'll look back at this time being like, wow, what a what a like weird brain fog I was in, and I had no mental clarity because I was fully in the trenches with this girl. Whereas right. if you take a step back and look around and you're like, oh, wait a minute, mm. it's not, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Every time you know? he talks, just clap back and say like, she ain't shit. Mm. Yeah. He tried to say is. your name. Just nope. She ain't shit. Let's move on. There's the, don't yeah, even let not, him talk about it. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's an interesting one. You will have to do a, uh, shoot me a DM. Cause I'm going to follow up with you with that video that you got to send to him. Yeah, this guy Jocko will put it in words that I can't even begin to explain. It'll be it'll be much well, more clearly and I'll stated. Because the Morgan Wallen song, "Thinking About You," I sent mm. that to him. I was mm. like, "You send this to, you know, what's her name?" And he thought it was so funny. And I'm like, "Dude, I'm serious." Mm. <laughs> oh, love Morgan. Just saw him last what is night. That? Sing, what is that? What uh, is that? The "Thinking About You" song. How does that go? Uh, it talks about how when she's with like her new boyfriend are you still thinking about me and are you wishing his truck was like in my driveway and all this stuff <laughs> uh, okay yes is that the one where it's like i'm probably thinking about i away is that that one that's not no okay nope, that's not okay. <laughs> nope. i'm trying to picture it can't picture it you know i gotta we get on there that long, though. what'd you say that song now that in Rouge like, and we cut out in the rain that one? Uh, that was one that you were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one's in my head. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Neither here nor there. I have such a bad yeah. voice. I'm trying not to sing like loud. I know. Yeah. I didn't want to sing. <laughs> that whole, <laughs> like, that whole bit was to try to get both of you to sing. You know? And we're both like, yeah. oh, no. How does that song go? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm like, really, how do I not do that? I'm not really familiar <laughs> with it. Hmm. Could you sing me a few chords? Well, all right. You have to keep in touch with us. Shoot us a DM like at, yeah. right after this one because I'll shoot you that video. But then also like maybe six months we do a little... Little Ooh. maybe we even get him on on the line next. Uh, oh, I actually have another question too because please. this is for my younger brother, and I don't really know how to give him any advice because like I've never been in this situation because I met my husband when we were in high school, so mm -hmm. I've never had to go through this. But my little brother is seventeen, mm -hmm. and he wants a girlfriend so bad, <laughs> and he's like looking at the future, like I want to get married really young, and 
but Aww. he is so incredibly shy around girls. And he's like, I don't really know how to meet people because mm. he's not quite old enough to be on like dating apps. Mm-hmm. And he's been homeschooled for the past two years. Mm. Really know how to like go out and meet people. And I was just kind of curious what your guys' take would be on that because I never had to do the whole like go out and find yeah. <laughs> my met in high school. So. I would, um, it, he might be too, you said he's not on the dating apps, right? I mean, he's on like Instagram, but I wouldn't necessarily call that a dating app. He's 17. He, see, he, I would actually go the opposite way. I, December, so like, he's real close. <laughs> I would almost argue Instagram is the biggest dating app currently. It's, it's, think about it. When you meet someone new, whether it's in a relationship, at your job, uh, or you hear about someone on TV or in, the, or in Grey's Anatomy, the first thing we all do is open up Instagram and pull up their profile to see what this person's all about. Like I would almost say the biggest dating app right now is IG. And, and honestly, I, uh, when I was single, I was posting random content, trying to find my own niche and my own voice, uh, all from just posting random videos, you know, to the, yeah. to the point where my own twin sister was like, oof, Kevin's kind of a tough sell based on some of his videos on the internet, you know? That's true. But he's going to be able to it. build his personality kind of in the world of Instagram. And mm-hmm. uh, and this is me going like sales brain. He can reach a wider audience on Instagram than he can just at like a, a random, you know, because we're, we're going to go underage. You know, it's like he can't yeah. go to the bars yet. But, right, that's why I was like, I don't really know what advice to give you because I would say, well, just go to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> 17, like, I guess I, I, I think I get his, like, excitement to want to date more with especially, like, being homeschooled. Like, you kind of want to, like, put yourself out there and stuff more. But at 17, like, I, like, just enjoy being with your friends. Yeah. I don't know. I think, like, I know if you get very lucky, like you said, you met your husband in high school like my brother met his wife in high school like that's all absolutely amazing but if it doesn't come naturally like just enjoy like being 17 you never get to be 17 again 17 is what uh senior year of high school yeah yeah he's going into his senior year this fall and is he um is what's his plans after is he thinking college or what's he thinking Uh, i think he wants to work for my husband, actually. Oh, hell, hell yeah. Perfect. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think he's thinking the college route. I think yep. he just kind of like dive into making yeah. some money. Yeah. I, like I love that. He's kind of doing like a three hour a day work or a schooling schedule right now and then working afterwards. And then um, my husband and him play ice hockey. So he's trying to like do that. But he's oh, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking hockey, and I'm like, well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would, I would, guy, I would say go hard on uh, Instagram. You know, like, like especially at 17, this is where yeah. you're slowly being introduced to the gym. You know, he could start making his like fitness journey. You know, all at the gym. He did the gym membership. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna get so full. Because <laughs> that yeah. was me at at that age. Uh, going into senior year, I was like, oh, wait a minute. I do these workouts, I can get some sort of results, you know, and I got right. hooked, got up. And that was at basically junior year going into senior year of, uh, the gym. So yeah. I, and I, and then I would, as like the good older sister, like maybe steer him clear of like the gym mirror selfies. Oh boy. You know, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's, maybe it's more of like the workouts he's doing. What is he eating? Yeah. Those videos, right. like, sh- it, and and you know him better than us, obviously. Like, what's his personality? You know, is he a funny kid? Maybe he's like crack. He's mic'd up at the gym, cracking jokes. You know, like he it, is funny, and he loves to do like impressions, like all day long. He'll do impressions of like that show, New Girl. Ah, uh, <laughs> so, yes, that's so funny. funny. But it's like when he gets around a girl that like isn't me or family, he just kind of like clams up, and I'm like, okay, we got to shake out the nerves. Yeah, yeah. And and I would say, get in front of the camera is a good way to do that. You know it's sure. going out to people, so you're a little. I still to this day the the video you put your cell phone number on when I first hit record, I still get a little like, oh boy, hope I don't stutter, you know. And I know I can <laughs> refill it a thousand times, but I yeah. still get a little. But getting the right. reps in, both legitimately in the gym and then metaphorically <laughs> on Instagram, uh, it's gonna one build his confidence. Yeah, you know, it's gonna to hit to your brother's point. He's gonna get all swollen, cut up in the gym. 
You know, yeah. <laughs> who knows? The love of his life could be working out right now. She Absolutely. might be at the, tell him to go to the gym at five o'clock weekdays, 5 PM. Everyone's getting out of work. The gym's going to be slammed. You know, it's going to be wall to wall. Chris Brown chicks in Sign there. Up for you some know? Like yoga and Pilates classes too. Definitely well, be a lot of girls there. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Some yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So oh. funny. Nothing like talking to ladies with a chafed taint after a spin class. Am I right, gang? Oh, wow. Okay. I don't want to pitch it that. I've never, done a spin, I've never felt sexy after a spin class. I'll tell you that. I'm in tap dancing shoes, it feels like, you know? So, yeah, we'll have to do a little check-in. We'll do like a little like six-month check-in on both, uh, both relationships, if you will. That's kind of a uh, blossom. <laughs> yes. Yes. Please do keep us updated there. Hot all stuff. Right, awesome. Well, I just Love want to it. say that I have guys' podcast too. My husband and I listen to it all the time. I mean, in our road trip up to Boston, it was like we just queued up a bunch of episodes. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Hell oh hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> yeah, so much. Sure. That means the world. How'd you like Boston when you were here? Oh, we love it. I've been trying to convince him to move there for years. And oh. Then we uh, got, got up there and it was like a week of beautiful weather and we were like oh, okay amazing. that's it <laughs> yeah there it is because now we come back down here to Maryland it's like 90 degrees but you guys are still getting like 75 degree weather and oh, I'm like yeah. okay I'm here. <laughs> it's like almost fall here in it's Boston it's like 65 now, you know? today yeah it was actually chilly yep yeah and we have plans I think from now until the end of the year to come up like once a month for oh. a game or just like yeah. for vacation so I yeah we that. love that <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, next time you're here, shoot us a DM. We'd love to come out and uh, first round of drinks on us slash protein oh, powder yeah. for your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We love chatting with you. Keep us posted. Uh, I'm invested now. So We're much. invested. Awesome. Have a good night. <laughs> awesome. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Wow. She was great. I know. That is, I'm actually, I'm invested. We got to, we got to ch- round that. Six months from now, and check in. Oh, I hate when like girls play games like that and guys. Yeah, what a what a what a dirty whore. Huh? That's crazy. She's in a relationship with another yeah. guy. Mm-hmm. Seems like she just likes attention. Honestly, seems like she just likes that. Kevin, <laughs> why? Why? I, I tried to. My mother listens to this show, so sometimes I, when I'm about to say something inappropriate, I think I'm coding it well. Yeah, no, she knows what you're saying. So I'm like, you can't just say dick. So I'm like, sounds like she's addicted to that. See, what was I saying? Back to you, Jan, who might be walking or at Pilates. <laughs> Hope you're doing great. Oh my god, <laughs> that's crazy. See, that's just cr- that's the big dichotomy there. Guys, what, what get- was like your biggest breakup story? Tell me about it. Well, let me finish there, guys. Get <laughs> the big bad rap of being like the cheaters. Look at this girl out there. I know, just ch- spreading them, Jeez. giving and receiving. You what? Twice on, on Sundays, <laughs> hearing Peter's like just snickering is what I roll, that's why I keep rolling the joke forward. <laughs> it's like a snowball. Like when we just go one just more. Don't turn. even laugh. Just yeah. be silent and it'll stop. No, no, please. Um, back to you, volley for serve. You had a question? Yeah, you said what? Tell me about like your like. Actually, you told me the other day your craziest breakup story. But tell me, tell me. Uh, um, craziest breakup story? Something. I don't I know. I got you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Craziest breakup story. We're going to leave names out of it because, boy, this is going to get messy. Oh, God. I am in high school. I can fight them. You know what? Yeah, you could. I am in high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, the year, irrelevant. The situation, relevante. <laughs> Opposite of relevant, obviously. Everyone knows that. Uh, we were at a house party at one of my neighbor's houses, notoriously for throwing down. Oh, my God. He's throwing down tonight. We were what? at a house party. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's me, mostly, and by house party, it's mostly dudes. It's mostly me and the guys hanging out. It's actually no party at all. Yeah, we're playing mini sticks. We got nachos. (laughs) There's Cheetos there. His mom just made you like pizza rolls. Yeah, garage band is on. Uh, We're (sighs) rocking out. Mm -hmm. Cocks are not out. Uh, However, I hear pitter pattering down the stairs. Who is it? It's my on again, off again girlfriend Mm. standing there. And we... And she wasn't invited? Wasn't invited. Mm, was she liked? Did anyone like her there? Wasn't liked. Okay, yeah, you're really digging in here. This I is... Know, find so we're sitting there, and mind you, like, as boys at that age, we love scary movies, so we're fresh off of watching The Grudge. And uh, and looking at her, uh, 
mascara running. She's obviously been crying. Oh. Hairs over her face. I thought I'm seeing ghosts because I'm like, you said this was supposed to be a dude's night. Why is there a lady here? Like j- colonial dress, you know, was she? wet hair. No, I've no, heard no, no. things about her that she definitely wouldn't be in a colonial Anywho, dress. She's like, can we talk? And I'm like, Oof. Oof. I was like, I don't know. My solo's coming up on GarageBand. It's a pretty big deal. It's a. Uh, What's GarageBand? Oh, oh, Guitar not GarageBand. Uh, is it GarageBand? Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero. Oh. I still remember the song. Actually, it's the theme song to Deadly Sketch. On a steel horse, I ride. I travel all night. I'm so lucky. Finish that lyric. I don't know it. To get back home. Drum solo. Boo doo doo doo. I'm a coward. Anyway, she's still sitting there the whole time. <laughs> I'm a steel horse. <laughs> One second, babe. I roll all night. Wow. Green, orange, green, yellow, blue. Wow, you did orange? Yummy wow. bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was only green through blue. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We, 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 uh, band name, <laughs> Sex Pirates, obviously. Because you obviously had so much Pirates sex. of the Caribbean yeah. was big. We're not getting sex. We're like, why don't we combine one of our favorite things with something we're never going to do? <laughs> sex Pirates. <laughs> free, jump and freeze off the couch. <laughs> anyway, she's still standing there crying. She's like, yeah, we talk. I go, sure. We go up to the kitchen. And mind you, at this day and age, like, we're at your parents are home. So like my buddy's parents are in the kitchen. Right. You know, and the grudge is just, and the, I'm, wa- I'm holding hands with the grudge. <laughs> uh, we walk outside, we get in her car. Mm. This girl goes off, mm. off. And you know me, I'm not a big yeller. Just bite my boisterous lace. Mm. I don't, when it comes down to fighting, I'm like, mm. right. probably just send this over an email. Uh, <laughs> we are driving in a residential neighborhood. Uh, picking up a good amount of speed. This is an area where, you know, you want to drive 15 miles an hour, friendly wave to the neighbor. We're probably reaching 20 plus miles an hour. So we're starting to creep higher and higher. Right. She is going off, punching the steering wheel, punching the center console. Um, I forget the, what led up to this angry, I, you know what I think it was honestly Mm -hmm. as hilarious as women are. I think it's because I was having a dude's night. Oh. And she was like, oh, oh, you're going to have a guy's night? What, what are you going to do? You're going to be in a basement with a bunch of dudes? Like, <laughs> let me guess. You're going to plug in the guitar and drum set? <laughs> you're going to eat Cheetos? And we're like actively doing all of that. Yeah. The funny thing about like maturing is that I look forward to your guys' night. So I have yeah. a long time. But like in high school, you're like, you're choosing the boys over Yeah. Place. Well, she was a girl where very much so if she could hear fun, it was an issue. Mm. So she calls, all the boys are laughing. Now we have problems. Right. So it wasn't anything crazy. Right. We were not in a good spot already. Like we were kind of on the outs and mm-hmm. I don't think that helped, obviously. Do you miss her? No. Long story short, we're picking up speed, right? We're picking up speed. <laughs> and I'm realizing with every tire rotation, I'm getting further and further and further from my my buddy's house. So right. I'm like, the only logical thing to do here is open the door, barrel roll out. But now we're going like, this is a true story. We're going like 30 miles an hour now. Oh boy. In a, in a in cul-de-sac, windy, twisty, turning neighborhood. Very suburban, you know? <laughs> Everyone's recycling cans are out. It's trash day. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievably How suburban. many did you hit on your way out? <laughs> we're blowing through trash cans. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me, how do I get the vehicle to slow down? So now I'm reaching over to the wheel. And now we're really swerving. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, let's do a little like reverse psychology here. So I lean into her arguments. I'm like, you're right. You're right. Blah, 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 blah. The vehicle begins to slow. She's wiping tears. Uh, we're probably now back at 15 miles an hour. I'm like, this is probably the best it's going to get. Uh, <laughs> unroll. No joke. Hit the pavement. Standing, by the way. And I don't know if you ever stood out of a moving vehicle 50 miles away. You go from standing to face plant like real fast. <laughs> like your knees just like whatever. Like I needed Heelys. If I had Heelys on, I could put the wheels out Can first. You imagine? Match the speed, hold the door, <laughs> release the door, slowly drift into the night. Not the case. So I stand, boom, hit. She lays on the brakes. She gets Tell out. Tell me she reverses. No, now it's full on cops foot patrol. Oh. She's radioing dis- dispatch. I got to run her. <laughs> and I'm running back to my buddy's house. All like bruised up. All bruised up. And we're now probably like a mile away at this point. Wow. So she. I've seen you run too. She ran with me for about a quarter mile, which I was picking up 
If you have the grudge. Wait, she had a car and she, she decided to run after you? No <laughs> logic. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, she's gonna throw this thing in reverse. She's gonna. My thought was get into the woods because that way the car can't go there. But then when I I hear the pitter patter of flip flops. Oh, it's flip flops too. Yeah, and she's screaming, and I know what she looks like. She looks like the Grudge. So I am, I am now, uh, what's his face from Cars? <laughs> I don't know. I am now Lightning McQueen. Oh yes, yes, yes. I do know. That. And uh, yeah, I freaking open the bulkhead back to my buddy's basement, slip on in. I looked a mess. Elbows all scratched up. Oh. Uh, forehead all scratched up. Knees all scratched up. Oh. And then uh, I think that was it. I don't think we ever saw each other after that. <laughs> How do you? You get coffee the next day? Crazy Thursday, huh? Uh, volley for serve. Please, you go. Craziest breakup story. Um, You're going to think I'm a loser. A what? Everyone just broke up with me. I never got to break up with people. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't either, if that makes you feel good. Well, I guess I technically did break up with one of them, but he had broken up with me like a hundred times prior to that. Mm. I just did the final breakup. Mm, right. Yeah. Because you were like a people pleaser. Yeah. 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 I felt bad too, so I actually went through like all three of the breakups because I was like, oh, he's still not getting it. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I know. Yeah. So not uh Nothing? No moving out of vehicles. Switchblade knives, something no, crazy. He, that one was, was very um, um, manipulative or whatever. So I remember one time he lost his car keys and it was always someone else's problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know Matt Damon? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Anyway. He so lost it, his what? His car keys. <sighs> so um, it was clearly my problem, even though I wasn't there. I was at right. UNH and he was at a different school. Right. So I had to drive to him to help like an hour to go help them find the khakis. Mm. We found them and then we went out for breakfast and then he broke up with me. All because he lost his pants. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> the guy is so inconsiderate. I know, after oh. like I paid for breakfast and yeah. everything. Yeah, khakis are in, in. That yeah, is, wow. I know. That's probably like, I think that's really it, honestly. Wow. Yeah, nothing really exciting. All that for us to then find each other. I know. Which you can come to our wedding. Hello. We're choosing the winner in less than three weeks. Three weeks away from picking a winner. You and a plus one can come to our wedding. Night completely on us. We pay for hotel, transportation, uh -huh. the whole nine. How do you enter? Venmo $10 to at the Coonies on Venmo. Mm -hmm. Gets you one entry. Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, we will pick a winner on September 7th. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Speaking days from the of, um, so the wedding's in less than four months. Uh -huh. um, so you haven't like talked to your groomsmen yet. I, I have. Okay. Um, I feel like we need to probably do the whole like tux thing soon. Like picking out a tux. Don't they have to do that? Yeah, I have the tux picked out. Oh, okay. wow, you're ahead of this. Light years ahead of you. Sorry. I don't communicate a lot, but yes. I know, we need to be better at communicating here. Yeah, yeah. You know, done and done. Oh. You know? Oh, well, good job, honey. I'm yeah. proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. It's black, right? You're not doing something crazy. Ooh, <laughs> you've seen Dumb and Dumber, right? <laughs> I love a good orange top hat, orange tux. What are you most excited for for the wedding? It to be over. Kidding. I am so excited to get all the loved ones that we care about in one room. It's going to be awesome. I'm really excited actually to pick the person coming. Yeah, me too. I know we've gotten like a good. few like responses. Like someone had been like, why would you open your data? Like someone you don't know and my whole thing is... 